I was having a conversation with a friend who does IT for a business. And nowadays, because offices are usually closed and people work from home, he was dealing with the issue of no one physically watching computer servers at an office. And this poses some logistical problems like security. And also, there's not even a way to reboot a server from offsite. So when this was presented to me as a problem, I asked my friend why he's not considering a cloud solution. But my friend said, no way am I moving anything to the cloud. I want full control over everything. I understand this old school thought process and there are pros and cons to everything. Let's examine if in fact servers should be kept on site at your locations or whether you should move them to the cloud. This is a common question now after COVID-19 since even IT people work from home. And my answer will focus on a smaller business with no 24 seven IT department. This is not a black and white issue and there are advantages and disadvantages to each, but at least I will try to give you food for thought. So let's get started. Stay tuned. Now, cloud computing has many different meanings, so we will attempt to segment this into different categories so we're not confused. There are companies that offer cloud services such as iCloud, Google Drive, Google Photos, Dropbox, and so on. Now, this is a little different because these are not your servers. These are servers that keep your data, but the third-party company, Apple, Google, Dropbox, in this example, own those servers and you are just keeping your data there under their auspices. In my opinion, these particular cloud services are never safe. The reason is that these companies make money off your data, so they intentionally read your documents, do facial recognition on your photos, and generally profile you. Or in the most benign case, they are able to read your documents if they wanted to, since there's no encryption. This is not the cloud computing I'll be focusing on today, but I want to make sure that the answer to the question is clear. What I will talk about is cloud computing as a paid service where you create your own server and load your own software and configure it yourself. Typically, you are interested in running business software or even your storage and access to business files. So should you keep these kinds of servers in-house or run them in a cloud or some other in-between option like co-location? Before I get into that, let me just remind you that I'm on the library platform, LBRY. I post my videos there ahead of time. Happy to be in the top 50 creators of that platform. And I have a link in the description so you can join me there as well. Just as an aside, I have a lot of Linux related videos, but to be honest, I don't consider myself a Linux desktop distro expert but I've shifted from using Windows servers to exclusively using Linux servers in the last decade. So I have a pretty solid expertise in running Linux servers. They can be as simple as Raspberry Pis running in my house to big expensive servers running in an office or in the cloud. I'd say I'm pretty knowledgeable about cybersecurity related to servers. I have never been hacked unless I intentionally let a server get hacked it's actually pretty easy to do that, by the way. Won't take long either. Automated programs on the internet hunt down servers with bad passwords like password. And that computer will soon be a bot serving illegal content, probably using BitTorrent. There are actually enterprise level intrusion tests that you can do to test if your server can survive a hacking attack. And this kind of test will actually educate you in both the programming issues as well as configuration so that an attacker gets less information about your server. In any case, I just want to say that setting up a Linux server is just a cleaner, simpler, faster, and more predictable than a Windows server. So if you have a choice, dump that Windows server. You will likely have an easier time defending it from hackers if you're using Linux. To continue with our main topic, the question is, is it safe to put this server in the cloud? 
I will not dispute that it is possible to hack a server in the cloud that is accessible over the internet. So if you want some ironclad guarantee of security, no one can give you that. But let me offer a different thought process. Is it safe to put your server in your office or your home? And unfortunately, there is no difference in attack risk from cybercrime if the server is available to the outside internet directly, as long as a server is open to the internet. For this discussion, let's talk about a smaller business. A company with hundreds of employees have full-time IT staff with 24-7 on-site security. So they have the option of doing everything in-house. This option is not available to any business without 24-7 IT support. So let's say you're running a Nextcloud server in your office and it is accessible to the internet via a DMZ setup. Well, in this case, there are actually multiple advantages to putting your server in the cloud instead. First, a cloud has physical security. Most good cloud providers like Linode or Amazon AWS or Google Cloud or Microsoft Azure keep their servers in hardened facilities. They will have 24-7 security. They will have procedures in place so random people don't touch the servers. They actually separate the hardware from the software. So it may even be difficult to know which server your data is in in a site with thousands of servers. If the server is at a typical office, there is no physical security in the computer room. Your IT guy goes home and the server is at the mercy of someone with a key to the office, like the cleaning people and even the building management or their friends. So with the proper financial incentives, your devices are vulnerable. You then have to come up with other measures like monitored security cameras and so on. Though I know I can attack those servers without even touching those servers physically. All I have to do is insert a device inside the network. So an office setup can be very vulnerable. Second, an office or home server has no redundancy. In the case of fire, power surge, or even just a mistake of unplugging the server, if backups have been forgotten, tremendous amounts of data can be lost. In a cloud environment, backups can be automated and done remotely. Also, depending on the service, many servers can have redundant databases replicated over multiple regions. So it operates faster and with no risk of data loss. Hands down, a cloud server will have lots of advantages over an on-site server in this case. Third, if accessing a server from the internet, definitely a cloud server from a major data center is superior in speed to the one in your office. You just don't have the fiber optic internet trunks that are available to a cloud provider. Most cloud providers also have so much capacity that they can dissipate a DDoS distributed denial of service attack. If your office server is DDoSed, then you are zucked. A gigabit internet connection can be denied service very easily. In some data centers, your server can be secured at a node balancer end before a user even reaches your server. Or some have access control rules that are handled by a firewall independent of your server. You can, of course, set up a firewall in your office server as well, and that is often the case even on a smaller network. And definitely a bigger network has some intensive firewalls. But if your server is in the DMZ, that is typically outside of the firewall. But unless you have a full-time IT staff, a smaller business relies on a part-time IT presence and certainly not 24-7 support. So is there any difference in hackability of a cloud server versus an in-house server? There could be, and you'll see some different solutions to this. Instead of a cloud server open to the internet, some companies will install an internal server with no internet access whatsoever. Then they allow access to the office network using APPTP VPN as the entry point. PPTP is the point-to-point -point tunneling protocol created by Microsoft and is used for connecting to offices. Typically, this PPTP VPN is handled by a hardware device. 
they then validate each user from the home network through the VPN hardware device, and a commonly used one is SonicWall. Then when you're inside the network, you can access the servers. The only exposure to the internet is the PPTP VPN. This is actually very secure and is used by many smaller businesses. However, it suffers from the same limitations as an in-house server, and that is the physical security and redundancy issues. You could actually replicate the same setup in the cloud. You can set up servers in a cloud with no external IP addresses. Put it inside a VPC or virtual private cloud. And you can then log into that cloud from your home computer just like you do with an office server. And now you benefit from physical security and redundancy as well as better performance. Another variant to this is co-location. In a co-location scenario, you ship your own servers to the data center and they just plug it into the rack. And since you set up your own servers, the data center does nothing other than boot the machine and handle the route of traffic. This is really no different from a rented server, but the disadvantage is that there's no one there to reinstall the software for you. You're completely on your own as far as support. But of course, it has some security advantages. In a normal internet exposed server, which I have a lot of experience with, you have to have the expertise to harden each individual server. I'm not afraid to do this since I have the expertise for it. In a private cloud setup, whether in an office or in a data center, the first security obstacle would be to go through the PPTP VPN. So if your PPTP VPN policies are flawed, someone will get in. However, it is simpler to lock down. Now, it is not hard to harden a server. In general, you have to firewall all ports that you don't wish to be accessed, and you have to obfuscate the server signature from probes. You should also install some other security layer using AppArmor or SE Linux to cover misbehaving applications, and then do disk encryption. But where it gets tricky is that many attacks occur on the application itself. So unless you're the programmer, you may not have the skills to fix this. Given the advantages of a data center-based solution, what are the cons against going to a cloud? One negative is cost. Though there's a low startup cost to a cloud data center solution, over time, it would be costly because of those rental fees. However, with proper management, you can actually lower costs since you don't have to buy an overly large computer capacity. Since you can grow as you need, start with something smaller first and you will likely find that you don't need that big of a machine. Whereas if you do it in your on-site server, you don't have a choice. You have to buy the biggest machine you can so you don't have to buy it over and over. The other is more philosophical. In theory, and mind you, this is theoretical, a government could easily spy on network traffic inside the data center, presumably with a warrant without the server owner knowing. This is the part where you feel like you have no control. This is a legitimate concern with an external cloud. For example, a lot of servers are actually virtual machines. The actual term is VPS. And someone could copy the virtual machine and without logging in, examine the memory and storage of the virtual machine in the physical virtual machine image file. Fortunately, there's a solution to this and that is encryption. You can choose to encrypt a server containing data and maybe not encrypt servers with just programs for ease of management. There are native encryption modules for Linux, for example, and on top of that, many cloud providers encrypt for you, though it is not necessarily end-to-end -end encrypted. For end-to-end -end encryption, you have to do the encryption yourself. So let me summarize. I think that overall, a cloud solution is superior to an in-office solution for any business without a 24-7 IT department. The servers need to be skillfully set up to be hardened against a hacking attack. If you don't have this ability to harden individual servers, then the best solution is to set up your servers in the cloud inside a VPC or virtual private cloud so you can only access the servers first through a PPTP VPN. 
By the way, this specific video is not sponsored, but my live streams are sponsored by Linode. There's a link in the description and you can take advantage of the Linode data centers because they have a 60 day, $60 credit available to my followers. And you can find that in the description. I want to talk about a side problem here, which some of you have contacted me about. The problem with a PPTP Office VPN that many of you are on is that in essence, when you connect to the Office VPN, your home computer becomes visible and hackable. This is from someone inside your company. So your company could examine your computer at their leisure when you're connected. And this is even if you have your own computer especially if you have your own computer. To protect yourself against this, watch my video on virtual machines. Set up your home computer with a virtual machine like VirtualBox. Then access the Office PPTP VPN from the virtual machine. So if someone from your office looks at your server, they only see the virtual machine. This is just a privacy tip when working from home. I hope this is helpful to some of you. You may have already used the services of an IT specialist that sets up your network, and this allows you to give an educated opinion about the choices. If you like this content, please subscribe to this channel and slam on that notification bell. Subscribing really helps this channel, so I appreciate it. Thank you for watching.